Hi everybody. So apologies, right now you should be watching me riveting the side skins on, but if you look, you'll notice that they're already riveted on. Because dumb shit me lost the video. I say lost, I just, I deleted it. And then before I was could even think, I'd already emptied the recycle bin, which is just a bad habit of mine. So, yep, you don't get to see any of that. Uh, however, you do get to see this. So my buddy Ted is over. Uh, we've got the frame in place and latched in place. We've got him in there. We've got the uh, a rope on there tied and pulled down to simulate about 25 pounds of uh, stress. And we're using that to help as we tighten the canopy hardware. So we're going to tighten all the hardware up from the back, uh, from the front to the back. And with that in place, we are now going to move towards the next step of the glassing procedure, which is uh, adding a filler. So you will add an epoxy filler, which is just epoxy resin with micro balloons, which you add micro balloons until it reaches a nice gooey consistency. Add a little bit of pigment, and we're going to use that to fill the space where the uh, canopy comes down and, it, and meets the canopy frame, but isn't just like a perfectly you know smooth transition. So that's all we're really going to do here. We're going to mix up some filler and do that. I'm also going to use some of that black 2.0 uh, acrylic paint to darken it. You can use acrylic with epoxy, just make sure it's less than one-tenth concentration. But with that black 2.0, you only need like 3%. Uh, let's see, any updates? Uh, I'm going to see if I can get an update from the engine shop this week. I'm still completely heartbroken. I don't, I try not, I, I look at the pictures like once a day and I just cry a little bit and I put them away. You know, it's, there's nothing like waiting 11 months to uh, then have someone deliver a stillborn baby to you. That's just, that's just great. I'm not bitter at all, but that's okay. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it. I uh, just, if it takes another 11 months, I'm going to lose my, my damn mind. Okay. So here you can see me having mixed up all that stuff. Here's the ironic, it, right, so once you have it mixed up, you basically put it in a plastic bag like it's a pastry bag, cut the uh, tip off, and then squeeze it out and smooth it out. But we don't actually wind up doing any of that because before you put on the filler, you have to put some clips on. So what really holds the front of the canopy in place? Well, let me tell you, countersunk rivets, pop rivets. Uh, the instructions tell you that, you know, after you've gotten all this stuff tightened up and everything, go around and see where the canopy doesn't want to lay smooth to the canopy frame. And at those locations, you're going to hold the canopy down with these clips, which is nothing but a pieces of aluminum, eh, about three quarter of an inch by half an inch. You'll drill a hole in the middle of them, give them a slight bend, and then counter, and then uh, uh, rivet them away. Anyway, it starts off by getting well, what I'm using is a Dremel tool. It tells you you can also use sandpaper. I find this uh, Dremel to work great. Is you want to basically sand out a channel so that when the clip is in place, uh, it does not protrude above the level of the original canopy. And once you're in a happy spot, you can match drill with a number 30 and then rivet away. We then went back to our little baggie of black filler, and it had completely hardened, so we decided to just, just move on to something else. Uh, and that's the wings. So, um, here's the thing about building a plane, right? The first two and a half years, or the first thousand hours, it's all just deburring and riveting metal, and that's quite therapeutic. There's something, uh, once you get into a flow of it and you really don't have to think about it anymore, it's nice. It's just deburr, dimple, rivet, or prime. Sorry, there's also priming. So we thought, what would be the most therapeutic thing right now? So we're doing this. Had to tank the take off. Uh, the tank, come to find out that uh, when uh, Ted and I were doing these the first time, we missed about five rivets. Uh, you would have never noticed with the tank on. That's the thing. With the tank on, because it's got a flange that covers them, you would never notice. They're basically just like one rivet for every rib, for a few of the ribs uh, that are right by the uh, flange of the wings bar. So we took care of those, but we had to take the tank off to do it. With those all done, we're now going to start riveting on the back skins. Uh, you'll start by riveting on the interior skin, but only the very back half 
uh, remember when you look at this wing, when they talk about fore and aft, you have to remember that this thing's hung upside down, so you have to kind of you know keep that in your mind. Anyway, uh, we're going to get one rivet here, and then in the next video, we're going to do a lot more. So thank you for joining me, everyone. Hope you're having a good week. See you soon.